Welcome back to Miniature World. You've seen the welding flash effect in the video earlier. What do you think? Do you think that adds more to the atmosphere of your layout? I think movement, sound, and automation make your layouts come alive. If you are interested in making a welding flash module like that, I will guide you how to make it. Watch the video until the end. If you think this channel is useful, please press the subscribe and like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell, so you don't miss my other video tutorials. So, don't waste our time, let's get started. These are the electronic parts that we will use in this project. First, is Arduino Nano. You can of course use other types of Arduino if you want. This part is the brain of our welder module. The second, is DF Player from DF Robot. This electronic part is an MP3 player that will play welding sound. The third, is the TDA2030, which is an amplifier to amplify the sound produced by the player. Next is the speakers of course. Then LM2596 as a step-down converter. As you know the working voltage of Arduino Nano is 5 volts, so we have to reduce our power supply voltage. From 12 volts to 5 volts so that our Arduino will be happy. Next. We use two 120 ohm resistors for our welding lead. Lastly, is the red and white lead, the white lead is for the welding light, then the red one is for the glowing. We continue to the wiring diagram. We see that the electricity that goes to Arduino Nano has to go through the step-down converter first, to reduce it to 5 volts. But there is one exception. Our amplifier directly gets power from the 12 volts DC adapter, so that the sound produced by the speakers is louder. For the LED, the positive leg is connected to a 120 ohm resistor, before connecting to the pin on Arduino, white LED is connected to pin 3, and red LED is connected to pin 5. DF player transmitter pin is connected to pin 11 of Arduino Nano, while the receiver pin is connected to pin 12 via a 1 kilo ohm resistor. To monitor player status, DF player busy pin, is connected to analog pin A2. DF player pin SPK, sends sound signal to amplifier via input pin. Next, let's move on to the Arduino sketch. I assume you already know the basics of Arduino, and how to install one. If you don't know yet, you can googling how to do it. Because I'm not going to cover it here. Let's open Arduino IDE, and open a sketch to create our arc welding module. And if you want to get this sketch, please make comment at the bottom of this video. Write down your email, so I can send the sketch. Okay, let's start. This section is for adding the software serial library, this is required for communication between the Arduino Nano and DF Player. Next we call the DF Player library, this is necessary so that DF Player understands the commands that we will give. Next we determine the transmit and receive pins on Arduino, which are pins 11 and 12. Next, we create a variable, to track the internal time of the Arduino. As we discussed earlier, we connect the white lead to pin 3, and we connect the red lead to pin 5. Then, we connect the busy DF player pin to pin 16. Pin 16 is actually an analog pin A2, which we use as a digital pin. Next, we create the play variable to store DF player busy status. If the value is 1, it means idle. If the value is 0, it means busy. Variable VOL is for setting the volume of DF player when playing sound. Here we set it to 50. Then, we create the variable count1 to store the random generated numbers. CWeld1 is the variable for storing welding time. Then CGlow1 is the variable to store the glowing time. Let's move on to void setup. In this section, we will declare white lead pin 1. And lead glow pin 1 is the output pin. Then, we will declare the busy pin as the input pin. Below that, we set the serial communication pin at 9600 baud rate. Now let's get into the void loop. First, we declare the time now variable, which is assigned the same value as the Arduino internal time. Furthermore, if CWeld1 has not started, we will generate a random number and store it in variable count1. The next step is to check the DF player status, if idle, then go to sound function and play welding sound. Then go to the weld function to turn on the white lead with a certain interval in a certain period of time. Then, if the time to play the white lead is up, check the DF player status again. If play equals zero, which means busy, go to silent function to turn off welding sound. Then go to glow function to turn on red lead. Red lead will turn on 
then slowly dimmed within a certain time. Furthermore, Arduino will count down, if the time in glow 1 runs out, then the red LED light will be turned off altogether. Now we come to the end of the void loop. Below are the functions we used earlier. Void sound, is a function to play the sound in the DF player. The command mp3 play 1, means that DF player is ordered to play sound number 1. Keep in mind, that the sound stored in the DF player must be in the mp3 format, and stored inside the mp3 folder. The naming must follow the format 0001 for sound 1, 0002 for sound 2, and so on. Then the next one is void silent. This is a function to turn off the welding sound, when the arc welding flash stops and turns into glowing red. Then, void weld 1, is a function to simulate arc welding flashes. Finally, void glow 1 and void glow off 1 respectively is to start the glowing red lead, and to turn off the red lead, after the glowing time is up. The final step is as usual, we have to upload our sketch to Arduino, so that the commands can be executed. Go to the Tools tab, choose the board according to the type of Arduino we are using, then select the processor. Finally, select the port where our Arduino is connected. In this example, there is no Arduino connected to my computer. So you can see the option is inactive. In reality, you have to connect your Arduino to a computer to upload the sketch to Arduino, remember that. If everything is done, click the upload button. That wraps up this video tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, you can get the Arduino sketch by requesting in the comments section. If you are also interested in the gas cylinder as in the video, you can get it on the CG Trader site. You can get the link in the video description. Please support this channel by subscribing if you find this video useful. I have lots of DIY tutorial stuff to share in the next video. Subscribe, and press the bell button so you don't miss it. Have a nice day.